What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and today we're doing something very different. Uh, what we're going to be doing is basically organizing a bunch of cards uh, but at the same time we'll be talking about sword and shield um, and kind of like what my thoughts are. What, uh, I guess kind of like what my review is. Uh, well, so we're going to go over at least my initial thoughts and then after talking with some other people uh, kind of like how what their grievances with the with the game were you know it's actually a spoiler the people were not very happy with it Ooh, there's some hidden feet stuff in here too but uh but yeah and i figured you know i have to organize all these cards and i tried to create some content for like video content of like the game to basically talk over and i wasn't really happy with how it came out the first time actually there was a rendering issue so couldn't really use the the video content and second time I just really wasn't happy with it so we're just going to organize some cards and uh, maybe this is something we'll do in the future kind of like just while I'm organizing my cards we'll just talk about various topics so if you, there is a specific topic you would like to uh, just to have a open discussion about let me know in a comment down below here's the very energies all right so here these are basically all the reverse energies from hidden fates that we picked up so sword and shield um, first, I'll start off with what my initial thoughts were before really discussing it with any other people. And it was that I had a blast playing the game. Actually, I should preface this by saying the last game that I played was Gold and Silver. And after before that, I just played Red and Blue. So that's probably a good, I don't know, over 10 year gap. And so this was like super nostalgic for me. So we'll start with the things that I liked. Um, one, it was just, like I just said, super nostalgic and fun to basically play a Pokemon game in general. I had a blast, um, you know, basically finding new Pokemon, leveling them up. All right, so these are various Sun and Moon sets. We're gonna start by sorting them with the different sets. This card doesn't even have a sleeve. Um, all right, so pros, yeah, it was just a good time. Uh, it was actually really fun to play, to stream it, to basically play with chat and basically interact. Uh, if you managed to attend one of those streams, it was really funny. It seemed like a majority of the discussion was around which waifu <laughs> we thought was best. And what are these? These are from, I'm not sure what set this is from, but we'll put this over here. And then to on so on to some like stuff that we weren't too crazy about. Um, I felt like the biggest thing was like the game felt very easy. Um, so I'm not sure when a lot of these things happened, but I feel like there was a lot of, uh, you know, it's a thin line between quality of life changes versus, all right, we're just making things a little bit too convenient for the player. And I feel like the easiest example is the fact that whenever you win a battle, you get experience for all your Pokemon so like versus in the past or at least again been a while since I played uh, but it was more like if you wanted to level up a new Pokemon you had to switch to it what set is this uh, you had to throw it out as you're active in the very beginning and then switch to the one that's actually going to finish the fight the battle it needs to tank a hit and then you can be on your way this is a team up I believe we have a team up pile uh, let's put it over here for now. Compared to in Sword and Shield, it's trivial. You don't even, you know, you can get a Pokemon to level 100 without it ever stepping foot on in a battle, which is very strange to me. I think all these are already sorted for Burning Shadows. So we'll just kind of group these back up. And then we're going to sort just the Burning Shadow stuff. We'll probably start by sorting by rarity and then go from there. Yeah, so all super convenient and then like you basically have 24 access to your boxes versus having to go to the Pokemon Center to switch out basically to create your ideal party and they just made it so easy. Um, you know, you basically when you say you can have six Pokemon at a time, that just means that just means you can have six Pokemon bringing into a battle. Um, from there, you can just access your box at any point swap things in swap things out i didn't even realize that until uh very recently when i started doing like the the breeder the daycare stuff and i was just like wait a minute i could have just switch these out whenever i want and that just blew me away like how is that possible uh they make it again just like too trivial 
and so but again like uh the the it's a thin line between you know we just don't want people running around unnecessarily uh versus just making things too easy all right let's see how should i do this and on to the next thing that this part like really bothered me was the game you know the um let's say you're going from one town to another or you have to go through like a cave or something the 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 map let's call it was like so simple so small uh, again many years ago last time i played a get like uh one of these games it was a gauntlet to go through any of those it would take me sometimes days and like i wouldn't even get through it there you run into constantly running into battles uh actually quick tangent is like the new encounter system i actually like it uh i wonder if there should have been like grass uh like triple the amount of grass i and a lot of more random battles that you know yes if you run into the pokemon you'll encounter it'll cause an encounter but there's a lot more of just random occurrence no matter what however it's much less frequent compared to uh let's just say how it was a long time ago because of how they do have like the actual avatars that you can run to to, to start encounters instead all right so this is all just burning shadow stuff and um right but then the actual uh kind of like path or no not the path like the um again the the road between towns or the roads between towns or like caves or whatever that you had to go through um yeah those are just so short uh let's think back to like again like 10 15 years ago it would actually you know it wasn't the craziest thing for you to buy a strategy guide yeah to help navigate through these things like or if uh you know you went online to print out a map of the dungeon just to help you navigate through it and like that's how complicated they were compared to like these things it's like hey yeah just uh you know oh there might be one little trick that all right you have to run around this one area again because you fell through uh, a hole or something or a ledge and now you need to spend like 10 seconds to get back to where you were so you don't make the same mistake and yeah it's just so simple uh and so th i think that was my biggest complaint was you know it felt like it was just so easy to get from one place to another and then you know kind of like along the lines of how you know you can level up all your, you always level up all your pokemon at the same time uh, also not only that but they level up so fast i would not have minded it if the kind of like the the opponent's power creep for lack of a better word or like the strength curve i'm not sure what to call it but essentially you know if you're essentially forced unless you're going to uh basically if you basically just can keep continuing the storyline that all the battles would be super difficult and probably like the smarter thing to do would be to spend some time and just level up go to the wild area i actually really like the wild area and spend you know a couple hours just leveling up various pokemon and like oh look there's a new gym i need to level up a new counter to it uh versus in my opinion like the way the game was is like oh i don't have the right types it's okay because naturally my pokemon are like three you know or like five plus levels ahead of time and i can just make it work anyway so in many aspects the game was just like so easy do i have one of these already nope all right so this is oh wait this is not just lost thunder okay we are mixing sets that is my problem we should just do one at a time and now i made a big mess all right let's see lost thunder take all these back but yeah so the game was just so easy too easy to get from one place to another and all right this is also some broken bonds 
All right, but overall, guys, again, like if I were just think back, all right, well, I did have an absolute blast playing this game. It was a lot of fun, super nostalgic. Um, yeah, it got done really quick, but at the end of the day, I was very happy with it. And then I started talking to some other people, and people were just like <laughs> crapping all over this game. And, you know, after I, I kind of like listened to, actually, no, I was like, first I was like, oh, this game's absolutely terrible. I returned it, and I was like, all right, well, you know, let, let's talk about, you know, what your grievances are and kind of go from there. And then, like, you know, so we kind of discussed it. And I feel like, again, once again, everything revolved around how easy the game was. One thing I was kind of happy about was, like, the, the whole, like, dex thing didn't really come up. You know, I, I feel like, obviously, it's, I would prefer if the full thing was there. But I didn't think it was the end of the world. Uh, but then, so, people started talking about... You know just why they didn't like the game and I felt like all their points were super valid and kind of like you know what I think you're right and um, so ultimately I feel like I kind of leaned more towards on the negative side where my compared to my initial thoughts all right this is not lost thunder I know this is lost thunder so I think this is all the lost thunder cards and now we can move on to, what is this, Unbroken Bonds? All right, let's do Rarity first. Um, so yeah, that, that's basically where I'm at kind of like right now. Uh, to be honest, I, I will say that I am disappointed because I was hoping the game would be much more, a much richer game and I could create a lot of like video content for it. But I feel like you know very quickly it'll just be people doing challenges that are really cool like people on stream they're talking about this nuzlocke thing and i think that's a great way to make the game more challenging but i don't think it's for me and especially when it comes to content creation so uh, i would say like i am disappointed that you know i don't think i'm gonna be making many uh sword and shield videos beyond this one uh but you know i think no matter what i still had a good amount of time a good time playing it and you know just the nostalgic factor once again but uh you know a lot of the pain points that people are bringing up are super valid all of i think in in closing i think what i'll leave it with is you know i'm still really glad i played the game i you know definitely um if i could go back in time i would still get it and still play through it um i think i'm kind of like 20 plus hours into the game and yeah, it's kind of surprising. Like, oh my gosh, I'm basically done already with the, a majority of the story. But let's say that to complete everything and to get so I have like a, I don't know, maxed out team and get as close as I am happy with, without like 100% or basically to complete as much of the game as I ever will. Let's say it takes about like 60 hours. You know, I don't think, I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, if the game was MSRPs for $60, so a dollar an hour of my time or entertainment value for a game is, I am perfectly satisfied with that. Um, however, I understand if people are expecting the world out of it, uh, even though you only spent $60. Um, you know, I feel like that's just a weird thing about games. Actually, we'll talk about kind of like the, maybe the situation that Pokemon just finds themselves in is that... You know they are just catering it towards kids and it's kind of weird but it seems that is probably very accurate and we'll go, i'm gonna maybe this makes me sound old but let's go back to way back uh, when i was growing up and uh yeah i had a strategy guide actually i had a magazine the nintendo something magazine to kind of like had like guides and maps and stuff that we were subscribed to oh man i think it was called nintendo power uh, but right, let's see these are let's sort out the full arts real quick prisms you guys can go up here GX's just put you guys down and now we're in unified minds all of a sudden all right these things are not organized at all uh, so back back then like you know the internet wasn't as it was today obviously and as a result, like, let's say, let's say, um, you know, we'll just use simple numbers. Let's say 100 people bought the game 
and only five of them completed it because the other five were kids or you know they they got frustrated with how difficult it was to navigate through the dungeons and stuff like that for whatever reason they didn't finish the game so 50 percent of people didn't finish the game because it was too difficult but because of like that was the, the early days on the internet you know one maybe no one knew or two probably more likely probably no one really cared uh if you fast forward to today let's say pokemon let's say they, they made some changes like um the amount of experience all right forget this xp all thing you need a special item to get do xp all and uh, let's let me just make sure that these are all the same sets all right these all look like unified minds i don't see any of the piles of unified minds all right so and all the the areas that you have to traverse through are three times as longer you run into random encounters like twice as likely actually i don't even think they exist today and you know the amount of trainers you face is like triple and all that kind of stuff and then like kids are just you know people that aren't able to dedicate amount of time or don't take it that seriously aren't able to finish the game and then they just like crap all over the game which kind of already is happening um and then you know i don't know i feel like that would just create a lot of bad publicity for pokemon and then so maybe the way we got here which is like look we need to make this game so that any kid that you know doesn't have the attention span to solve puzzles and stuff like that just needs to be able to get through the game and for everyone else that takes it seriously they'll just have an easy time cruising through all the content and maybe that's just how we got here oh, wait we have one more unified minds and all right Alright, so we have one last pile. These are like all various promos, so this will take quite a while. Maybe we'll go through... Um, I'm not sure if we should sort these by the the collection box they came in or what. Actually, I'll do it later. Um, but yeah, so I wonder if that's just how we got here is... Oh, we can go through these guys real quick. Is because, you know, they just, they were forced to make the game very easy. And if that's the case, uh, it kind of makes sense, but it's very disappointing. So basically anyone that takes the game seriously or was looking for, you know, hundreds of hours of gameplay, uh, ultimately, like, how can they be anything but disappointed? So anyway, guys, I think we'll probably cut it around there. Um, let me know what your own thoughts are. Um, obviously, everyone's entitled to their opinion. So positive or negative, let me know what your own thoughts are of sword and shield but i would appreciate you know just let me know why you feel that way um you know versus just saying you know i think it's a terrible game and uh they should be ashamed of themselves it's like okay but you know it, can you expand on that a little bit and we'll try to drive a like a healthy conversation and if there are other topics that you would like you know feel we could cover in this kind of like casual i'm just sorting through cards kind of thing uh also let me know in a comment down below on that guys thanks for watching i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time Hey, you made it to the end of the video. I really appreciate that. Um, Flash poll: Who is the best waifu in the game? If you've attended any of our live streams, sometimes that's all the chat is talking about. Um, yeah, I guess if you're looking for my opinion, this is what I my current thoughts are. Um, I feel like there would be some uh, a good number of people that would disagree. Uh, so if you're one of them or if you agree, let me know what your thoughts are in a comment down below. And thanks again for sticking around to the end of the video.